Funding for what I do is provided in part by my generous supporters on Patreon, and by direct donations from viewers like you. Thank you! Hey everyone, Calvin here. And it has been such a long time since I last updated on YouTube, I'm so sorry about that. It's not that I haven't been working, it's that I've actually, um, been streaming mostly. But there's been quite a lot of updates. So let's get right into it. Um, I don't remember if... Actually, I don't remember a lot of what I showed before, but... Uh, Contrib Worlds have a little progress thing. Actually, I think that might have already been in the 013 release. <laughs> so yeah, um... Development lately has moved over to an unstable branch. So that I can, you know, push updates more without having to also make a new release package every time I make a new build. It's actually made development go quite a bit faster. So let's look into some of the new stuff. You see now that we've got a um, nice little fade in. We've also got iris transitions. So just like in classic Super Tux, it'll, you know, do the little iris wipe. And then it goes into this status screen here. And it shows here the author, best time, coins, enemies, secrets. And best time is now stored separately per character. So you can see there it says best time for Conky. We Oh yeah, Conky's... Uh, we discovered this new trick you can do with Conky, which means that now speedrunning with him will be fun. If you do that, it's not just with, um, Carl Booms. TNT blocks will do it too, so watch. We Come over here. We 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 <laughs> Yeah, if you don't hit it precisely right, you'll be sent backwards instead. But it's fun. <laughs> we. So yeah, you can do some pretty cool skips with him now. I shouldn't be doing it there though. There's nowhere to go. Yeah, like this, or like this, way up in the air. Missed. We. Oops. Yeah. New best time. 49 seconds. Or maybe that's my old best time. I actually wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, let's go to the test levels so you can see some of the new features we've got. So we've got a block that changes what character you're playing as. Oh yeah, you'll also notice that we've got a nice new perspective on the, um, the ocean background. Hopefully you can see it. Let me turn off the snow. Let's see. What is it? GV. Uh, I forget the variable names to turn off the weather. But yeah, there's owls. So the owl can be set to carry any fizz actor type. So, just for fun, we made owls carrying owls. And the one at the very bottom, because it isn't set to carry anything, it just carries a toxic muffin by default. So yeah, they're stuck in the blocks there. But yeah, once they've dropped their payload, they will fly away. Also, new to speedrunning. Oh yeah, first debug mode now has a level editor, sort of. You can edit the solid layer, so it's good for like testing level changes. But if you hold shift, you can still teleport. <clears throat> but yeah, the ice feather, or flower, has had some updates. Watch how fast you can go now. Yee wee Let's see if I can hit the slope right. There's, because of like floating point stuff, there's like a tiny bit of randomness to that. 
is a bit annoying. I'm sorry. There we go. See, now you went super high that time. Yeah. Got the owl. <laughs> Stay cool. Oh, yeah, new object spawner. So now things can respawn. So that icicle can fall over and over again. Oh, owl got away. Ouch. Uh, let's see. What else is there that's new? Oh yeah, Mr. Ice Guy. Yeah, Icicle now freezes enemies. And Mr. Ice Guy here works sort of like he does in Classic. He floats on water. And for the overworld, we're adding some new stuff. So there's going to be a level here, which focuses on Mr. Ice Guy. And up here, I decided to make a little thing explaining why you can't just go straight to the castle. It's because the bridge is broken. Because, like, before there was just nothing there. And I was like, well, wouldn't they have built a bridge there to make it more convenient? It's like, okay, yeah, no lock smashed it with a giant rock. So there you go. And yeah, it doesn't show the status screen when going into towns. Because, you know, there's nothing to complete in towns. Whee! Oh yeah, see the snowballs? We've got, um, classic style enemy sprites now. So we got the snowballs, um... Yeah, let me go to this level down here. This level also has the jumpies. Should probably change to tux, but you know what? Whatever. You, you, you can jump. Yeah, why can it? Why do I suck at this? Go kill the snowballs. Oh yeah, this sign here explains elemental differences. I'll let you read that. Your element form doesn't change, doesn't just change your attack, it changes how your elemental damage affects you. Elements will take double damage from their opposites and half damage from themselves. For instance, with the fire flower, ice enemies will damage you twice as much, but with an ice flower they'll do half as much. So like for instance here, Kong, um, I only take, uh, bug on recording, yay! Honky's still using some legacy code, it seems, so... <laughs> yeah, he should be changing his elemental resistance. Yeah, this is a little area where you get to play with freezing. It's gonna formally introduce the ice flower. I keep getting them mixed up. And here we have classic style jumpies. You freeze them, you jump on them, you get to cross. And here, haven't put in the graphics yet, but this is where you get to practice jumping across using an enemy as a platform. So it's sort of like a little mini tutorial level. But I'm not sure where to go with it yet. It's a... Uh, See, so yeah, over here in Extreme Hills, because only Tux is really able to do this level. Although, it's even harder with the <laughs> new Ice Flower speed. Ice Flower is mainly for speed running. It's not so good for this. But we're still planning on replacing this. We're thinking of going with like a Ski Free style um, level. It's like top down, sliding down a hill. And since the new enemy style update was like with the new enemy code, they now have um, 
a universal, like, blinking and health system. Which means that some enemies now behave differently. So we're gonna go in here and fight the boss real quick. Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, you no longer have to wait for him to stun himself to jump on him, but it'll do more damage while he's stunned. Oh yeah, he also kills enemies that he runs over. Because before, um, if you would freeze them, and then he ran into it, he would get stunned early, and you could even like stun lock him or even like freeze it above him so that he couldn't jump. And then he'd just like throw a tantrum and start making a ton of shockwaves. So it was really crazy, so we had to fix that. And so now when he's charging, he will break enemies. I always like to finish him with a stomp because it just looks more climactic. And over here in Contrib Levels, we've got a new one that's in the works, Azzy Wazzy, being made by Azrael. And the Frostlands has been getting some updates. And there is a major update for Frostlands coming out too, so... You'll get to see um, the new tropical biome getting added to it. Because I um, admittedly have not been working on levels for the main campaign, I've just been working on like mechanics and stuff. So most of the level design has been going into the Frostlands. Let's see how much of this is completable. Probably not much. Oh yeah, because you need a fire flower. Let's see what happens if I use Earth instead of Ice. Yeah, you can actually complete this level without the Ice Feather. I keep doing it! I keep doing it, why? Oh yeah, for some reason holding the bombs doesn't seem to work properly anymore. We're not sure why. But like, you'll, th you'll throw them almost immediately after you start moving, so... Kind of the explanation currently is that it's just a hot potato, but yeah, we're trying to figure out what's wrong with that. So let's see, what else is new? Um, still haven't got moving platforms working properly, but that's what is currently next on my nit. It's next on my list. <laughs> But yeah, if you guys want to watch me while I'm coding, I do that over on Twitch. I'll have a link in the description. Um, so yeah, that transition affects a lot of places. So, um... Yeah, I think that's about it. So, uh... I guess uh, go follow me on Twitch if you want to watch, you know, while I'm updating. I really should have been doing keeping this de devlog tighter, you know, more frequent, because uh, I was having trouble remembering what's new. There's a lot of new. Um, a lot of the code has been rewritten. Um, it actually broke compatibility with some of the Frostland stuff, so I'm going to have to fix that. And, um... I've already had to fix a few things in there. But yeah, I need to start recording more often so you guys can see what's new. 
and so that I'm not updating like with forever between videos. Uh, yeah. Wee. Yeah, you'll also ramp up a bit on small slopes too. As long as you're going fast. You gotta go fast. And I did not go fast enough. Let's see if I can do this. Wee! And <laughs> just shoot right through our house. <laughs> Yeah, it actually messes with your sparkling if you go fast enough. Um, I might actually change this tutorial a bit because some people complain that like they get up here and they think, "Oh, I found a secret. Oh, there's nothing but a wall." So I might add something there. Shut up, alarm. Yeah, I got up early, so my alarm's going off. Wee. There's also, like, a little thing you can do with plank jumping now. It sort of works like Second Life's prim jumping, where if you're moving up and you slide just at the right moment, you'll gain some vertical height. It's very precise, and it's not intentional, but I'm thinking I might leave it in just as a little trick for speedrunners. Because, you know, anything that's not likely to show up casually but could help speedrunners, I think, is good to keep. If it's a glitch that helps players, I'll keep it. But if it's a glitch that causes problems, I'm going to fix it. Because that's the difference between fun glitches and, you know, not fun glitches. And, you know, since the ice feather... Fleh, I did it again! Maybe they should just all be feathers. The ice flower. I think it's because I'm so used to people from the classic side calling the I the air feather the air flower, and I correct them though it's a feather, so now I'm doing it in reverse. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's no longer going to be a secret item. It'll be formally introduced in the first world. But we're also going to change it so that air leather, air feather and Earthshell are introduced in the second world, which is going to be the grass world. Grass and forest. And then um, we will have a tropical world and maybe a few others. Fire world is definitely going to be last because that's going to be Nolok's place. And there's been talk of adding more elements like, um, water, uh, electric, light and dark. My concern, though, is that four elements is already a lot for people making custom characters that they have to code, and suddenly adding in, like, more requirements. Like, so far, no custom characters have actually been added. But, if someone wants to make one, that's a lot more work they have to do. I mean, I suppose I could make a template character with some basic functionality. And then, like, people could just leave it at default shots. But, um... Yeah, it's... it's... I feel like it might be too much. It's also a lot of complexity for what's basically a Mario clone. I was like, yeah, even though there's elements of Sonic in it, Sonic only had three elements. I've got four. So, yeah, it seems like I... I it feels like it's going to be too much, you know? Yeah, wow, you can get heckin' fast. <laughs> I keep waiting for the fade-in. So yeah, my best time with my best time's actually just over ten seconds, but since I switched to the way that the best times are stored, that's gone. 
SP. It was like 10.5, I think. 10.53, maybe. I don't know. But it was, it was pretty good. I had a really good day. Um, so yeah, that's, I think, all the new updates. And, um, I'll, I'll try to record them more often. But yeah, thank you everyone who's been watching so far. And thank you everyone who's supported me. If you want to support the project, um, you can donate on Patreon or Coffee. I will have links to those. And if you want to follow development more closely, head over to Twitch, where I live stream it. And thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you will join me next time.